Well, my camcorder fell in the bay. It was only there for about five seconds, but it won't turn on now, and that's been uh, two days ago now. So I'm going to have to buy a new camcorder. However, this is the hard-looking pumpkin. You remember this is supposed to be a Dills Atlantic Giant, but it came out green like this, and it stayed green. One of my Dills Atlantic Giant rotted. So I took the orange ones and uh, processed them. I got 16 bottles of pumpkin puree. This one I'm going to process separately. I don't know exactly how well this is, video is going to turn out. But I need to record this because, as we are saying, it is a pumpkin that was supposed to be Dill's Atlantic Giant. And it isn't. So somehow it must have gotten uh, hybrid. However, it should be quite edible. There's no reason why it wouldn't be edible. I'll cut it open. And we'll see what it's like. I need to do this because... If anything looks odd inside, then I can record it. That looks like a squash that I grew one year. What was the name of it? Can't remember the name, but I'd say that's what happened. Dill's Atlantic Giant got uh, crossed with that squash I grew the same year that I grew the last Dill's Atlantic Giant. I hand pollinate them as you uh, probably already know. And what probably happened is I took the brush and I didn't clean it off well after I pollinated the squash. And I went over and pollinated the uh, pumpkin. So I'm going to take a big spoon and scoop this out now. You see the seeds look the same. I'm going to have to experiment with the taste on this so that uh, I know what it tastes like because it looks like that other squash and it may taste like a butternut squash. In which case I will have basically a huge butternut squash. trying to decide what it tastes like. I have a large piece of property, but it's also set up where I can grow out these seeds and keep the plants completely isolated from everything else. If you have a small garden, you probably can't do that. However, these seeds will be edible, just like um, any other squash seeds. So take them out and put them to the side. If you end up with the same situation that I'm having here. This was um, the first of the squash that I thought was the Atlantic Giant to set fruit back, uh, I think it was last of July actually, this one got set. 
So I'm putting that in there because I can bake that and use it as part of the puree. It seems like the greater percentage of the uh, seeds are fully plump. This one is flat, you see, so that's no good. But most of them are nice and plump and full seeds. So as I was saying, I, I'm going to uh, grow out quite a few, I'll do quite a few plants. And up on the top hill where I'm putting the extra fruit trees that I say I'll put a bunch out there and let them thin for themselves. I will put a bunch of plants from these seeds and see what happens. Might end up with my own variety of uh, squash out of this. See, almost all of the seeds are full. Stop you now until I get these seeds picked out. The material around the seeds are fairly dry. I picked out these seeds. Every one of these seeds that I have here is completely plump and should be viable. And these are the ones that, even if they were a little bit flat, I put the seed to the side. I'm going to count them out now. Separated them out in groups of 10, as I usually do. These are the ones that uh, are flat. So 40 plus 1, you got 41 flat seeds. And over the rest, that's 33 groups, 330 plus 6 right here. So 336 uh, fully plump seeds that should be viable out of the one pumpkin or butternut squash, whatever we're going to call that. Now to continue working my way to puree, the inside part around the seeds are put in the uh, this roaster and because I had cut the other parts on even first I even the piece up so that's why this piece is in here and then we take the other pieces turn them with skin side up to uh, hopefully restore as much moisture in the flesh as we can and here's the other one We'll preheat the oven to 400 degrees and we'll bake them until I can take a regular uh, kitchen fork like this and push it all the way to the other side easily. I just took them out of the oven and as uh, you can see a lot of liquid still come out of it but I can put the fork right down through it. And I'll let these cool down a little bit so that I can handle them before I go further. Still a little hot, but I can flip it over. I think I got this one baked a little more than I should have, but that'll be okay. Hmm. There we go.
Now I've got the pot sitting here. I can just take a spoon. And of course this. I'll take that and put in the pot as well. Then we can take the immersion blender and blend it. That water you see down there, that's juice from the uh, pumpkin, so we'd want to uh, keep that anyway. And keep blending it until it's smooth and all the uh, water and pulp is mixed together. Now that it's well blended, we can put it in a bottle just a little tiny bit more and that's enough and the other question is what do I do with my spoon that's not the question. Does it taste different than uh, what the other pumpkins tasted like? Not a whole lot different. It is quite tasty. I like that. I can make a meal of that just like it is. Here is the finished product. This side is the uh, pumpkin. And this side is the other squash. I was wondering what it could be crossed with. And the shape reminded me of an acorn squash. So I went online doing my search. No, it's not an acorn squash because an acorn squash is a summer squash. But I found out what it was. This is what is called a buttercup squash. Not a butternut, a buttercup. I know of one company that supplies the seed for those. That's Heritage Harvest Seed. And the fruits are supposed to get three to five pounds, which is what I got. 85 days to maturity. So Greta, Greta, that's Greta of Greta's Garden. I think that uh, this squash would grow well in your garden and it is very delicious in my opinion what my theory is is that when I ordered the Dilt Atlantic Giant a buttercup squash seed got accidentally mixed in with them and hopefully if I didn't contaminate cross-pollinate the two then now I have 300 and actually is 338 buttercup squash seed which is another squash that uh, I will be growing next year thank you for watching I hope you uh, enjoyed it and don't forget, hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment. I'll see you in the next video.